Beth Allen. I am the cheer coach for the Fayette County School District. I'm also an ELL teacher. I have coached for six years here. I've started coaching at the middle school and then for three years, this is my third year, I've been the varsity cheer coach. I'm currently also the ELL teacher for the district as well. ELL is English language learner, so I work with children who speak English as a second language. Spanish and Arabic are our main languages that we have at Lafayette. I was introduced to cheerleading at a very young age. I was five when I started cheering, and I've cheered since as long as I could remember throughout high school. I did a kind of like a cheer camp at UAB where all the girls come on the football field, and when I was in high school, I was like, cheer is where it's at. This it was the biggest stadium I'd ever been on, and as a little girl, it was just those were the girls I looked up to. What I love about cheerleading is the connections and the bonds that I make. Whenever the boys are down or, you know, your girls are down on whatever sport you're cheering for, because we cheer for a lot of different sports, the crowd gets engaged with that and they know that they have people behind them and they know that the cheerleaders are also behind them. It just, their energy gets going, their strength. They find that momentum, that last oorah to get going. And then they can, they know that we're there for them no matter what. You're a team, you are a cheerleader and the crowd is there and then y'all both become this one big team for the boys for any sport that you're at. With the girls, the parents, the community and the memories that I get to have, that I get to have for a lifetime. That's the main thing I love about it. Um, you guys are going to go into your tumbling. Five. Then you're going to go get in your stun groups that we've already created. Um, if somebody's not there, we're going to fill people in. We're going to warm up, just like we always do. Um, then we are going to give you your Friday night formations. Okay. Hmm, style of coaching, my coaching style. I would say um, tough love. They know that I have rules, we have guidelines. Um, I'm pretty strict, but they do know they can come to me no matter what, that I'll love them no matter what the situation or outcome is. So I would say tough love. Guys, remember, if you can't do it, you're doing a cartwheel. And remember, make sure you're paying attention so you don't hit the person in front of you. Watch yourself, watch your counts. Good, good, good. Um, my coach, the main person that really influenced me um, was my coach, Coach Brown. She was who I pull from when I'm coaching my girls. Uh, she was a perfectionist, but she knew that you could do this and she would push you to do it. And if she knew you could do that, then you, she wasn't putting you on the line. She just knew that that's what you could do. And she was wanting the best from you. And, but she always, in the end of the day, she loved us. She's like, wrapped your arm around you, I'm proud of you. And those were the words I love to hear is, I'm proud of you. My motivation is the girls and giving back to them and having them know that they have somebody behind them and that I can support them and I can support them through cheer. They know they are held to a higher standard um, than some of their other peers or some of the other athletes. I hold by highly accountable of their actions. And I want them to know that they are being looked at. When we have mini cheer camp, these little girls come in and they see them and they want to be them and they know that. And then it reflects because on Friday nights, the girls will look up in the stands and see those little mini campers doing the same cheers and cheering back with them. And they're like, okay, I can make a difference. And they know that they can also be and dream of whatever they want to be, because they can do it. And they help guide those little ones um, to be what they want to be, no matter what circumstances they come from. <laughs>
here. All right, so you know how in the thought song, they're spelling D, O, and y'all are coming up and spelling it? Like I told Laurel, y'all need to be in front of that front row uh -huh. because you're going to be your own row beside each other, but y'all are getting lost in transition beside them. And uh, when they're doing this, they're covering your letters. So make sure that when y'all come up, y'all are watching each other out of your peripheral vision and y'all are in front of them. Okay, y'all will become the front row. Okay, so we grab it at S and then... What? We grab it at S. L. H. S. I do feel like I try to create a bond with the girls so I know who I can be a little bit harder with and those who I know that I might need just not as stern with them to get my point across. Not all kids respond to that, so. I want to call her out because she was back there and she was getting it, okay? She was. She was having fun with it and I saw that and that's what I need you guys to do too, okay? Having fun as well. For our practices, I try to have routine practices so the girls have expectations. They know what to expect as soon as they walk in. They know as soon as they walk in, their bags go against the wall. We stretch as a team. Um, we work right from stretches to go into stunts, build the stunts and warm those up, and then we'll move on to our cheers. Um, I try to keep everything the same, and, but we still have fun in between, and they know that we'll have those little moments of coach interaction of fun, and the girls can laugh, um, but I like to keep it routine-wise. Yeah. just so they know what to expect. Okay, we're doing this today. And I do give it ahead of time of, hey, this is what we're doing this week. Be prepared. Um, you already know I send out that list on Sunday so they know what to expect throughout the week uh, from Monday through Friday, what my expectations are this week and what we're, what we're working on. A role model inside and outside the gym is um, someone that you, you want to look up to as you're, you know, personally, you want, hey, this is who I am. This is who I want to represent. I want this child, if they're looking at me, I want them to see someone who is strong, someone who's brave, who can have fun, who knows rules and structure, and somebody that cares. And that's some of the things that qualities that you get from cheer is you care for each other when you're cheering. You're brave when you go into those stunts. You're fun when you're on the sideline on Friday nights because you're just having a blast during that game and the band's playing your favorite song. Um, so those are some of the role model qualities that I would think. Um, let's learn our, let's go ahead and learn our formation for Friday nights, okay? All right, listen, when I call your name, you're gonna be front row and I'm pointing and it's gonna look like you're looking. This is a stadium, okay? So, Ainsley Martin, Katie Ladner, LG, Avery, Lily W, so leave a space, and Hannah, you're at the end. Uh, coaching drives me, cheer drives me. It has gotten me out of some of my most, my comfort zones as a person. It makes me want to, I like to help others. And I feel like if I can help just one person through cheer, because that's what I know, then they can help somebody and maybe I can leave my mark, my legacy through them. And then it'll just keep growing and growing. I was always kind of set back a little, uh, but now I am very, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you to everyone I meet because as a cheerleader, you're, you're in the eyes of the public and you have to have that you know, that welcome feeling, and that's how, what I want to be. I want to have that welcome feeling where anyone can come talk to me, speak to me, and just carry an old conversation. Your internet could be free with ACP. Max South Broadband has been approved by the FCC as an affordable connectivity program provider to help qualified households in our communities pay for internet services. You may be eligible for up to $30 a month towards your internet service. This could cover the full cost of high-speed internet services. This new benefit will keep households connected to jobs, critical health care services, and virtual classrooms. Your internet could be free with ACP. 
It's a new day at Max South. We are excited to share some great news. In our continued effort to support Mississippi businesses, Max South is now offering local advertising support. Through high quality programming, we combine traditional television and premium digital advertising, allowing your multimedia campaign to reach your targeted audience at any time on any device. Call Max South Media Sales today at 662-701-8628. practice we're fixing to run through our fight song uh, with the music real quick and we're going to build a stunt that goes along with it. competitive team we compete game day it's exciting we go from Friday nights to our Saturday competitions and it's a whole different vibe it's a whole different game changer it's, it's just absolutely fun for them uh, because it's they have cheerleaders cheering for them it's their time to shine we compete in Jackson at regionals and we go to I think there will be one in Memphis that we'll try to go to this year as well. You said music, it's on five, four, three, two, one. Listen, on the first ripple, it's back, middle, front. Then when you're spelling, okay? You're good. Okay. Huh? When they do? Dun, 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 And you're here, dun, and you do it on the last one, the third one. So you're here until it's time for you to do it. Got it? Um, we go to camp. Uh, we go to camp every summer. Um, we always typically go at the beginning of summer and it's at Ole Miss. Um, I think the girls really enjoy camp. It's a time for them to learn new skills, but have fun, make new friends from other teams, um, maybe take home some of their Friday night uh, game day stuff that they use and tweak it a little bit for our game days. Uh, it's just a lot of fun for them. It does help um, them perfect those skills and their timing and stunts that they want to learn uh, because there's additional help for us there to, you know, one-on-one -on -one with the girls on how to fix things or, and the critiques that they can give are very helpful. The takeaways from camp that I expect from the girls are to learn uh, new game day material for us to bring back to school, uh, new ways to be leaders and ambassadors during pep rallies, um, how to get that community involved within. Um, those are some of the main things that I like for them to really take away from camp. More than the stunts, more than the cheers, just those things that we can bring back to help our school spirit.
qualities to make a good cheerleader. Someone who is going to work hard, uh, someone who wants to be a leader, obviously, uh, can come out of their comfort zone, has a great work ethic. Cheer coach. Um, for me, I'm probably going to have to describe my coach, Coach Brown. Uh, someone who was always there. She was dedicated to us as a team. Um, she loved us no matter what. She helped us when we were discouraged. She would pick us back up. She was basically our cheerleader in the background at times. So that, that would be what I would like to be as a coach. I'd like to reflect her. Thank you.